Lidos brings, the courage to tackle hard problems. Tools to make our world safer, healthier, and more efficient. The future is unbounded for us. Lidos has always been fascinated with the word impossible. That fascination began with founder Dr. J. Robert Beister when he left his job as a nuclear physicist to launch a science and technology startup out of a small shopping plaza in La Jolla, California. Founded in 1969 as Science Applications Incorporated, Beister recruited talented scientists and engineers with a deep interest in finding solutions to complicated problems important to the country. The company accepted projects that pushed the boundaries of possibility. For Beister, impossible was just another Monday. Bob always pushed people to do better, to think outside the box, to be more innovative. Bob's view of taking on work that no one else will, will take on and creating an innovative solution and differentiating the company based upon our technical offering is really the foundation, it's the forefront of what we do. Dr. Beister started the company on the premise that if you give smart people the opportunity to do cutting edge, impactful work, they will find a way to do the impossible. He created a company of entrepreneurs and innovators. And now, 50 years later, that legacy is alive and well at Lidos. In 1983, SAI changed its name to Science Applications International Corporation, SAIC. The company gained prominence after designing the hull for the Stars and Stripes sailboat that brought America's Cup back to the United States in 1987. The win solidified SAIC's reputation as a highly respected solutions provider for challenging science-based problems of national importance. An area of critical national importance that remains today is the company's work for the Defense Information Systems Agency, which oversees the U.S. government information infrastructure. Among the company's flagship roles is managing the hotline system that allows the president and his staff to communicate with leaders from other nations. Presently, there are more than 100 hotlines between the United States and the world's leadership both in the executive branch and within the Department of Defense. We've been using the, the term science to solutions probably since the beginning of our heritage. And so when I think about it, I think about our mission statement, which is Lidos makes the world safer, healthier, and more efficient through technology, engineering, and science. Today, Every American traveling on a commercial airline, private or military aircraft, relies on Lidos. In 2015, Lidos replaced the FAA's 40-year-old en route host computer with the state-of-the-art satellite-based en route automation modernization system. Replacing the aging system was one of the most complex undertakings in the history of the FAA because airplanes need to keep flying, and air traffic never stops. Whether it's securing classified data through its work with the Department of Defense, or securing our borders through the use of high-tech scanners, Lidos stands on the front lines. While failure for any company should never be an option, for Lidos, failure in these areas of their work can mean the difference between life and death. This is especially true when it comes to vehicle inspection technologies Lidos has developed throughout the years. In the non-intrusive inspection category, 
Glidos has designed and developed the Vehicle and Cargo Inspection System, or VACUS. which can scan cargo and passenger vehicles at a rapid rate, whether they enter by land or seaports. When a vehicle drives through any one of the more than 750 VACUS scanners in the U.S., its sensors will detect all illicit contraband, be it drugs, guns, or suspicious amounts of money. On the radiation detection front, Lidos operates more than 1,200 radiation portals that scan 100% of all cargo and passenger vehicles entering the U.S. to prevent a dirty bomb from entering the country. The wars in Afghanistan and Iraq introduced a new weapon the U.S. military was not prepared for. Improvised explosive devices or IEDs. On the battlefield, these homemade bombs were responsible for more American casualties than any other weapon. The Army responded by developing mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles, or MRAP, that proved to be twice as effective in protecting soldiers as M1 Abrams tanks. Lidos was responsible for all the command and control, integration, and testing of the electronics in each of the 30,000 MRAP vehicles. As a defense company, we believe that this nation is worth defending and our freedom is worth fighting for. So it's no surprise that we have such a strong affinity for our servicemen and women. And we take this obligation seriously. Failure is not an option. For every problem, there is a solution. Though it may not yet have been conceived, the idea that an answer for some of the world's most critical issues is somewhere waiting to be uncovered is what drives the men and women of Lidos. Sometimes those challenges take years to solve. Sometimes they come as emergencies. On March 28, 1979, the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant in Middletown, Pennsylvania, became the site of the worst nuclear disaster in U.S. history, when the core of one of the plant's nuclear reactors partially melted. In response, Lido's predecessor, SAIC, assigned a team of experts who stabilized and monitored the plant. As a result of its success, the company was called on to perform additional nuclear monitoring work with the Nuclear Monitoring Agency. For more than two decades since its days as SAIC, Lidos has been working with the National Cancer Institute, operating the Frederick National Laboratory for Cancer Research. As part of their original contract with the Institute, the company provided operations and technical support in three essential areas, translational research and development, basic research, and preclinical research and development. Today, Lidos continues to provide scientific and technological innovations, resources, and staff who work tirelessly toward cures or methods of prevention for various forms of cancer. Lidos changes the world. We have people who deeply care about making people healthier and better in our country, and we find cures. A couple years ago, through data analytics, we theorized and created a cure for a type of neuroblastoma. We created the science behind manufactured and running drug trials for the first Zika antiviral. And so there are molecules that we invent and curative solutions that we come up with in cancer in all areas of medical science. Lidos has always had an interest in pushing boundaries into uncharted territories, whether those boundaries are physical or technological. That interest led to projects in the United Kingdom, Australia, Antarctica, and in outer space. Mm -hmm. 
Leidos is one of the only companies that has left its imprint on all seven continents. With more than 400 locations in 30 countries, Leidos is helping its customers to execute their most important work. And some of their most challenging work is at the bottom of the earth. Currently, Lidos employees operate the world's longest supply chain to support research performed on Antarctica through the National Science Foundation's Antarctic Support Contract. At Lidos, we're fearless. As a team, we come together and are unbelievably resourceful and are actually able to attack that problem with such force that we're able to provide unique solutions for our customers. Whether the company is providing meals or supplying transportation to research facilities. Research grantees and military personnel rely on Lidos to make sure they have all of the resources they need so they can accomplish their missions. In 2012, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency contracted with Lidos to support a submarine tracking program. The active program allows us to showcase what we do best, to do something that has never been done before on a program of national significance. What developed was a continuous trail unmanned vessel that can cover thousands of nautical miles on the ocean without a person directing its course or changing speeds. The 132-foot autonomous trimaran would create a new advantage for the U.S. military in surveillance and was christened Sea Hunter. As the company entered the 21st century, Lidos went through many changes to secure its future while maintaining its valued heritage. In 2006, a few years after Dr. Beister's retirement, then SAIC became a publicly traded company. On its first day of trading, the company's stock rose 21%. In the effort to procure more research and development work, in 2013, the company was split in two and SAIC was spun off to new owners. The new company, which would retain all of SAIC's legacy history, was renamed Lidos. In 2016, Lidos evolved once again with the merger of Lockheed Martin's information systems and global solutions business, forming a $10 billion industry powerhouse. While much has changed at Lidos throughout the last 50 years, the entrepreneurial culture and commitment to customers Dr. Beister inspired is still very much alive. The future is unbounded for us. And I think what's important for us as a company is to stay true to our core values, technology and innovation, to continue to be a very people-oriented company, and one that is focused on making the world safer, better, and more efficient for our customers.